Hello, my amazing A pushers. Um, here live from my um, guest bedroom or my office. Um, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that this is going to be a media, a form of me communicating with you um, over the next couple of days. Um, and obviously, this is really not normal for me as a teacher. I'm used to seeing you all. Um, but I'm excited to have the opportunity to talk to each of you and just give you guys a little bit of a lowdown about what's going happen over the next couple days. Um, so with that being said, um, I have uh, posted for you all the graphic organizer for chapter 29. Uh, this is, at the end of the day, the last chapter that we are going to be working on for period eight. And after that, what I'm going to ask that you all do is I want you to uh, answer the questions to the best of your ability. Um, most of the time with the, the assessment that you're going to take on Tuesday, it is just a content assessment. Um, I did throw on there some source base, but for the most part, it is content. Um, you guys can refer back to the term lists. Um, it is always in your best interest to take note of exactly uh, what the questions are asking, because I think that that will significantly help you. I did go through the chapter and I, and I created the questions as I moved along, so it is in order. Um, so please make sure that you guys are working on this tonight, uh, today during class and also tomorrow uh, during uh, throughout the day leading into tomorrow's assessment. Um, it is important for you all to just recognize that this is very, very challenging. Um, and I'm very hopeful that even though we are not able to meet face to face, all of our hard work will pay off in May when we eventually take the AP assessment. I am hoping that this virus does uh, go down in number and we can get back to school. Um, but we're going to have to really work hard because there's a lot that we have to do over the next couple of weeks. And we're really moving towards a point where we're going to need a lot of our time dedicated to the exam. And maybe this is, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Maybe it is an opportunity for you guys to maybe just not have all the social pressures and the the pressures of just being in a classroom maybe that will help you guys just kind of organize your thoughts and help prepare for your ap exams um i'm hopeful that you guys will continue reading uh keeping up with all assignments that have to do with a reading for us one prep um this upcoming wednesday we were supposed to have our uh, we were supposed to have our ap review for period four which just as an FYI, is crucial. And so what I'm going to be doing for that is I will post for you guys the video that helps me. So you guys will need to have out your uh, the papers that I have for printed out for you for each of the periods. And what you'll do is you'll take your notes out on those. Um, as far as the review activities, I will share those with you for sure. And if you want to print them out and they're in color, essentially they're mostly just like graphs and charts that I have accumulated to kind of be paired with your um, period outlines. So just understand that you can use that. And um, But basically, if you're just taking down the notes, it's perfectly fine. So I am going to still be posting assignments for the period review. Um, so I did send you guys also a link uh, about what College Board is saying about all this. It is without a doubt so crucial that we just kind of be on top of College Board right now. And um, and College Board is saying that there is an opportunity for districts to decide to move the date back by, it's, uh, I think it would be going from May 8th to May 20 slash 22nd. Um, I did speak to my supervisor about this. I am hopeful that we can um, we can do this. And only because when you think about it, some schools actually get to start in August and we start in September. So we're at a month disadvantage to them anyways. And we still have to take the test at the same time. It's, it's a little bit of tea right there. Okay. So Mr. Ramirez is not okay with that. Um, but besides a part, uh, a part, besides, that's besides the point. Um, I will do my best. Uh, however, I'm aiming for the May 8th uh, 
uh, just because that is the time that we have um, scheduled and I'm going to keep working towards that until I get official notification that we're changing that, uh, then um, then we will shift and adjust accordingly. Um, but nonetheless, we are going to be moving in this week on Wednesday through Friday. We're going to be moving on to the 1980s crucial time period with Ronald Reagan. By next week, we're going to be done with period nine. And then by the following week, we're going to be working on period one in-class activities. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that. I will most likely have to turn them into Google Forms, all the, all the tests that I have, um, which is fine. Um, and I will be giving you guys more practice sheets to do. Um, other than that, um, feel free to text me. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm here to help you all. And um, this is going to be an interesting experience, to say the least. I will miss our food dinner dates. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very, very much missing that. Um, so anyways, I will see you virtually. Please make sure you fill out the Google Forms. Have a good one. Ciao for now.